Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military general, the first emperor of France and one of the world's greatest military leaders. Napoleon revolutionized military organization and training, sponsored the Napoleonic Code, reorganized education and established the long-lived Concordat with the papacy. Napoleon Bonaparte was born in Ajaccio, on the French island of Corsica, on August 15, 1769. Napoleon was the fourth, and second surviving, child of Carlo Buonaparte, a lawyer, and his wife, Letizia Ramolino. Around the time of Napoleon's birth, Corsica's occupation by the French had drawn considerable local resistance. But after Pauli was forced to flee the island, Carlo switched his allegiance to the French. After doing so he was appointed assessor of the judicial district of Ajaccio in 1771, a plush job that eventually enabled him to enroll his two sons, Joseph and Napoleon, in France's college Doton. In 1785, while Napoleon was at the academy, his father died of stomach cancer. This propelled Napoleon to take the reins as the head of the family. Graduating early from the military academy, Napoleon, now second lieutenant of artillery, returned to Corsica in 1786. Back home, Napoleon got behind the Corsican resistance to the French occupation, siding with his father's former ally, Pasquale Pauli. But the two soon had a falling out, and when a civil war in Corsica began in April 1793, Napoleon, now an enemy of Pauli, and his family relocated to France, where they assumed the French version of their name. Bonaparte Napoleon's return to France from Corsica began with a service with the French military, where he rejoined his regiment at Nice in June 1793. Napoleon stood about 5 feet and 7 inches tall, making him slightly taller than the average Frenchman of his time. Much has been made of Napoleon's height, and legends claim that he was unusually short, giving rise to the term, Napoleon complex, an inferiority complex sometimes associated with people of short stature. Some historians attribute the myths about Napoleon's height to British propaganda. The young leader quickly showed his support for the Jacobins, a far-left political movement and the most well-known and popular political club from the French Revolution. In 1792, three years after the revolution had begun, France was declared a republic. The following year, King Louis XVI was executed. Ultimately, these acts led to the rise of Maximilien de Robespierre and what became, essentially, the dictatorship of the Committee of Public Safety. The years of 1793 and 1794 came to be known as the Reign of Terror, in which many as 40,000 people were killed. Eventually the Jacobins fell from power and Robespierre was executed. After falling out of favor with Robespierre, Napoleon came into the good graces of the Directory in 1795 after he saved the government from counter-revolutionary forces. For his efforts, Napoleon was soon named Commander of the Army of the Interior. In addition, he was a trusted advisor to the Directory on military matters. In 1796, Napoleon took the helm of the Army of Italy, a post he'd been coveting. All of these successes helped make Napoleon the military's brightest star. Napoleon married Josephine in 1796 when he was 26. She was a 32-year-old widow whose first husband, Alexander de Beauharnais, had been executed during the Reign of Terror. Josephine had her daughter Hortense marry Napoleon's brother Louis. Josephine had lovers, such as Lieutenant Hippolyte Charles, during Napoleon's Italian campaign. Napoleon learned of that affair and a letter he wrote about. It was intercepted by the British and published widely, to embarrass Napoleon. Despite his divorce from Josephine, Napoleon showed his dedication to her for the rest of his life. On the 11th of March 1810 by proxy, he married the 19-year-old Marie Louise, Archduchess of Austria, and a great-niece of Marie Antoinette. The couple had one child, Napoleon Francis Joseph Charles, 1811-1832, known from birth as the King of Rome. On July 1, 1798, Napoleon and his army traveled to the Middle East to undermine Great Britain's empire by occupying Egypt and disrupting English trade routes to India. But his military campaign proved disastrous. On August 1, 1798, Admiral Horatio Nelson's fleet decimated Napoleon's forces in the Battle of the Nile. In the spring of 1799, French armies were defeated in Italy, forcing France to give up much of the peninsula. In October, Napoleon returned to France, where he was welcomed as a popular military leader. Following his 1799 return to France, Napoleon participated in an event known as the Coup of 18 Brumaire 
a bloodless coup d'état that overthrew the French Directory. When Napoleon was named first consul, he became France's leading political figure. At the Battle of Marengo in 1800, Napoleon's forces defeated the Austrians and drove them from the Italian peninsula. Additionally, with the Treaty of Amiens in 1802, the war-weary British agreed to peace with the French, although the peace would only last for a year. The Napoleonic Wars were a series of European wars lasting from 1803 to Napoleon's second abdication of power in 1815. In 1803, in part to raise funds for war, France sold its North American Louisiana territory to the United States for $15 million, a transaction known as the Louisiana Purchase. Napoleon then returned to war with Britain, Russia and Austria. In 1805, the British registered an important naval victory against France at the Battle of Trafalgar, which led Napoleon to scrap his plans to invade England. Other victories soon followed allowing Napoleon to greatly expand the French Empire and paving the way for loyalists to his government to be installed in Holland, Italy, Naples, Sweden, Spain and Westphalia. On March 21, 1804, Napoleon instituted the Napoleonic Code, otherwise known as the French Civil Code, parts of which are still in use around the world today. The Napoleonic Code forbade privileges based on birth, allowed freedom of religion, and stated that government jobs must be given to the most qualified. The terms of the code are the main basis for many other countries' civil codes throughout Europe and North America. The Napoleonic Code followed Napoleon's new constitution, which created the first consul, a position which amounted to nothing less than a dictatorship. Napoleon would, of course, be the one who would fulfill the first consul's duties. Under his direction, Napoleon turned his reforms to the country's economy, legal system and education and even the church, as he reinstated Roman Catholicism as the state religion. He also negotiated a European peace, which lasted just three years before the start of the Napoleonic Wars. His reforms proved popular. In 1802 he was elected consul for life, and two years later he was proclaimed emperor of France. In 1812 France was devastated when Napoleon's invasion of Russia turned out to be a colossal failure, and the beginning of the end for Napoleon. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers in Napoleon's Grand Army were killed or badly wounded. Out of an original fighting force of some 600,000 men, just 10,000 soldiers were still fit for battle. News of the defeat reinvigorated Napoleon's enemies, both inside and outside of France. With international pressure mounting and his government lacking the resources to fight back against his enemies, Napoleon surrendered to Allied forces on March 30, 1814. On April 6, 1814, Napoleon was forced to abdicate power and went into exile on the island of Elba in the Mediterranean Sea off of Italy. In March 1815, Napoleon escaped the island and quickly made his way back to Paris. King Louis XVIII fled, and Napoleon triumphantly returned to power. But the enthusiasm that greeted Napoleon when he resumed control of the government soon gave way to old frustrations and fears about his leadership. On June 16, 1815, Napoleon led French troops into Belgium and defeated the Prussians. Two days later he was defeated by the British, reinforced by Prussian fighters, at the Battle of Waterloo. It was a humiliating loss, and on June 22, 1815, Napoleon abdicated his powers. In an effort to prolong his dynasty he pushed to have his young son, Napoleon II, named Emperor, but the coalition rejected the offer. After Napoleon's abdication from power in 1815, Fearing a repeat of his earlier return from exile on Elba, the British government sent him to the remote island of St. Helena in the southern Atlantic. For the most part Napoleon was free to do as he pleased at his new home. But the tedious routine of life soon got to him, and he often shut himself indoors. Napoleon died on May 5, 1821, on the island of St. Helena at the age of 51. By 1817 Napoleon's health had been deteriorating and he showed the early signs of a stomach ulcer or possibly cancer. In April of that year, the diaries of Napoleon's valet, Louis Marchand, were published in 1955, leading Sten Forshovit and Ben Weider to propose arsenic poisoning as a possible cause. Arsenic was used as a poison during the era because it was undetectable when administered over a long period. According to a 2007 study, High levels of arsenic in Napoleon's hair shafts suggest he was murdered. Napoleon's tomb is located in Paris, France, in the Dôme des Invalides. Originally a royal chapel built between 1677 and 1706, 
the Invalide were turned into a military pantheon under Napoleon. In addition to Napoleon Bonaparte, several other French notables are buried there, including Napoleon's son, Laglon, the King of Rome, his brothers, Joseph and Jérôme Bonaparte, Generals Bertrand and Duroc, and the French Marshals Folk and Lyotis.